Итак, у России сегодня появилось новое мощное оружие. Верховный главнокомандующий Владимир Путин прибывает в Национальный центр управления обороны. Есть окончание точного приведения. Авангард hypersonic missile. Преодолевают это расстояние примерно за одинаковое время, около 30-40 минут, но разными путями. Если баллистические. According to Russian media, it's capable of reaching Mach 20. That's over 15,000 miles per hour. система «Авангард» неуязвима для сегодняшних и для перспективных средств ПВО и про вероятного противника. How does it work? It apparently uses a new type of engine called a rotating detonation engine. capable of reaching hypersonic speeds. Hypersonic isn't just a buzzy reboot jargon for supersonic. It describes air travel above Mach 5 or 3,836 miles per hour. Standard jet engines just won't cut it. Turbofan engines are great for most commercial travel. Because you can get a plane going along at you know, 600 miles per hour while burning fuel really efficiently. Above 600 miles an hour, it's very inefficient. Concorde succeeded in doing this by having conventional turbofans to get up to the sub max speed. And then use turbojet afterburners to power it through Mac 2. The new rotating detonation engine might someday offer both velocity and fuel economy. It works by having a double cylinder detonation chamber. The engine sets off a series of detonations. The send a shockwave chasing itself through a cylindrical loop. A rotating detonation engine traps its shockwave using itself to repeatedly jump start new detonations. Each 
subsequent detonation keeps the shockwave going. Researchers are still trying to lock down some of the fundamental physics that work inside these engines. For instance, it's still a mystery why some destinations rotate clockwise and others anti-clockwise around the combustion chamber. If engineers designing these engines can't predict exactly how the detonation wave will behave, they can't reliably calibrate its power. GE Research has already solved a lot of these fundamental challenges. For example, they're developing ceramics that can handle the high temperatures of a rotating detonation engine. Look out for this new technology in 2019. US military top technologists announced that hypersonic transport will be of the highest priority for the Department of Defense. This, of course, is scary military stuff. Russia has the avant-garde missile, and China claims a robust hypersonic missile research program. So, as long as this arms race doesn't lead to global annihilation, tech transfers from missile work might just help commercial air travel finally reach the other side of the sound barrier again.